Hello, hello. Ano pangalan mo? Ang pangalan ko po is Christine Halbena po. So, Christine, as a teenager, anong challenges hinaharap mo? Meron po nangyaring incident po sa akin. No, ako po ay nasa grade 2 to 3 po. Uh, meron pong incident na um, nabuli po ako nung time po na yun. Um, ang nangyari po doon is pinag... It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay, Christine. Okay. 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 We can sit down, huh? Take it. Take a chill. So it me. We're still bothered by this, no? So tayo. We sit with the coaches, huh? It's okay, baby. It's okay, kiddo. It's okay. Hito tayo. All right. Here, take a seat there, huh? Coach, Coach Casey. Go ahead. So, eto we have a. We can share with us, no? Every Monday po kasi, lagi po kaming naka-full white. Yung sa permanent marker po, na-spill po yung likodan ko po nung pagkakita ko po sa pag-uwi po is may dots-dots na po ng permanent marker. So, ano ginawa mo? Paano um, man na-deal? How did you deal with it? Hindi ko po sila, hindi ko po yun pinapansin nung time po na yun. Hindi ko po sila pinapansin kung ano po yung ginagawa nila. Sabi ko, okay, hindi ko po sila ginagantihan kasi ayaw ko pong gumanta that time po. Kasi hindi ko po talaga alam yung intention nila sa akin. I'm sure nanonood sila ng The Voice Teens. At kung nanonood sila, nakita na yung ginawa mo, I'm sure, oh my gosh, that's the girl na binuli namin na sa first and second grade. Like, my God, yun ako, bata pa ako, my whole childhood, I ate lunch doon sa banyo. Dahil binabully din ako. I was the only Filipino. Mataba ako. So, binabully ako. Binugbog ako. Ninakaw ng pera sa pockets ko. So, I would have lunch with special kids, fat kids, thin kids, in the bathroom. Kasi takot ako sa mga bullies ko. And then in 1983, nag-record ako ng first album ko. I went back to the States. And I gave each of them an album. Ay yung autograph ko. Sinulat ko ng autograph. Thank you, because of you, I'm a singer today. Yeah. I never told anyone. So ang point ko, the bullying sometimes, of course, hindi naman pwede iwasan yun. Ngayon naman may cyber bullying pa. But you you handled it well because you knew, right, Bamboo? You know, one day, gaganti ka in a good way. Hindi umikot yung mga chairs namin. At hindi ibig sabihin, binibuli kita. Ang ibig sabihin, you're a champion with the drive, the ambition to be better. You did it in first or second grade. You walked away. You didn't fight back. Now, hindi umikot yung chairs, that means you can do better. She had a beautiful voice. Yeah. No? Beautiful, beautiful. Magandang boses mo. Hindi mo kailangan intindihin sila. You took the high road, eh. Yung tawag nila, di ba? Hindi madali yun, no? That's why it still hurts for you now, no? But, uh, like I said, kita mo kasi Coach Martin, ganda nung shinare niya, no? These moments and these times, um, let these sort of propel you somewhere else, no? Let it drive you. All right? I wish you the best. And, yes, hindi kami umikot na yun. And, I don't want to go technical now, but I'll say, just put in the work, practice, and I'm sure I'll see you again. Okay? We all will. We will yeah. see Thank you. you. Very soon. We'll be cheering for you. Balik ka dito, kasi abot mo kami ng CD rin. Let's see it, everyone. For her to stand on that stage and have that big smile after everything, she's a winner already, mommy. I'm gonna do better and better, okay? Keep singing, don't give up, okay?